years. It's overwhelming the size of the, of the scope of this event, the hard work that goes into it for our officers, our explorers, the citizens that volunteer. Organizers of this year's Toys for Tots event estimate they gave out about 25,000 toys for more than 50,000 children. All day long, the line wrapped around the building. It was like way longer this year and, and colder. According to the Stormwatch 7 weather app, it was 39 degrees at noon, but felt more like 36 degrees with the wind chill. And folks bundled up in winter coats, blankets, huddled together for warmth. Tens of thousands stood in this line for three or more hours. A truck provided hot drinks to help keep people warm. Once they got inside, they said it was well worth the wait. It really helped me out, you know, big time. Right now, I'm not working. I'm eight and a half months pregnant. So this came in handy a lot. Check what kind of batteries you needed on the toy. Hundreds of volunteers participated, and there were some familiar faces in the crowd. Thank you. Thank you. Many police officers brought their own children to help. Some poor families can't afford toys, so I'm helping them get some presents for their kids. It just feels good. It just feels right doing something good like this. And those younger volunteers offered their toy expertise. I know what a seven-year-old likes because I'm seven. The event was a big success, but the need continues, and Toys for Tots is still collecting donations. Because we will distribute all the way up through Christmas Eve to the children in need in our community, so, so it's not too late to give. In Palmer Park, Maryland, Mike carter Kaneen, ABC7 News. I can't get enough of those little girls saying it just feels <laughs> good. It feels right to do something this good. It's so great to see that so early on and then yeah. the seven year old that's on expert on what seven year olds want. It's, it's great. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. It, it feels a little more like the Christmas season today. It's just right. And we've had very few of these coming in, but we've got one to come in right now towards tomorrow morning. We will get to exactly how cold we start off tomorrow to where you are. In fact, maybe you're thinking about getting out a little bit early before Sunday services to get that last gift or get some of the gifts that you haven't gotten yet, like me. That's a look at our nation's capital here tonight. Already real-time temperature of 25 Culpeper. Manassas was at 25, just went up 27. Reagan Ashland has been holding steady at 38. 32 Frederick, 34 Luray, and even Winchester. Crystal clear skies allowing temperatures to fall back without the breeze that we had earlier. Speaking of that breeze, ever since Friday and through most of today, we had that northwest wind up 10 to 20, gusts even higher up to 20. 25 miles per hour. Obviously, we've been in this cold pattern, breezy and cold. Now that the breeze has gone away, allows for one of the coldest starts we can get under crystal clear skies. Very cold tomorrow, chilly with lots of sunshine throughout the day. When we get past your Sunday, we go to Monday. Yes, cloud cover comes back, not much in the way of rain, and temperatures start to go back up. We'll start the warming trend as soon as then. Then we'll talk some rain possible record warm. So that's the big picture over the next two days. Let's go in close and tight. Reset overnight towards tomorrow morning. These lows 19 could be a coldest spot. Culpepper 20 Manassas could be 24 and towards the outer suburbs of Washington. 30 downtown Washington. That's right at daybreak, but still we're not going to warm very fast throughout the day. Lots of sunshine, such a cold start. But it's that sun angle kind of thing for the time of the year. 43 Hagerstown tomorrow, Berryville 46, Charlestown the same. We'll do about 46 Washington. It's right near 47, 48 Old Town, even 48 Lorton, 48 Waldorf, La Plata, Nanjamoy, Fredericksburg at about 50. Even Southwest zones, Warren Page counties to 47 and 48 respectively. So that covers Sunday. Sunny skies without a breeze. It should feel much better than yesterday and today. There's the clouds coming in towards Monday, but still will take temperatures back up in towards the 50s. We'll hold the rain off at least with chances towards Tuesday, Thursday, and even Christmas Eve. Here's a look at our ABC 7 Skycast tomorrow. Beautiful, crystal clear start to the day and sunrise at a cold 30 downtown. Many more at about 24, 25 middle of the road temperature. Lots of bright sunshine, only up to 46, but without the breeze, we're feeling much better than what we had. Seven day forecast with the rain chance Tuesday, Wednesday, likely rain day. Christmas Eve could have rain as well. And speaking of Christmas Eve, that would be a record high, breaking the previous record of 69 set in 1933. And Christmas Day, mild at 60. Remember last year we were at 61, even mild day at that time. Football tomorrow, it's going to be cold if you're out in the tailgate lot when it opens at 9. Freezing, only up to 35 by 10. Bundle up at the stadium, we'll be at 41 by the time the hopefully game ends with a victory. Up to about 46 <laughs> for the high temperature in the afternoon. But that's really good football weather for considering for the time of the year. Yeah, yeah, not bad. So we all have our fingers crossed about the Redskins here. Yeah. You think they should win? I do. I do think they'll beat the Bills. And speaking of victory, that's what the Wizards were aiming for tonight. Back at home, John Wall, he was trying to help his team get back to their winning